Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, and it goes like this. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Have you taken up the cross? Are you, have you denied yourself? You know, there's an old song from years back, Take up thy cross and follow me. I hear the blessed Savior call. How can I make a lesser sacrifice when Jesus gave his all? Many Christians have never picked up the cross. You know, they just laid them right there. They just left them at the altar. Never picked them up. They prefer living uh, as the world lives. Yeah, they didn't want to change. When you pick up your cross, your outlook on the world and sin becomes a burden. Did you know that? It does. When you see others that's out here and hooping and hollering and killing and stealing, it hurts right here. It just hurts because we know that Jesus, you know, he died for all. He died for everybody. All we have to do is accept him. But if you're going to be a disciple of Christ, you have to do a little bit more than just accept him. That's right. You have to pick up the cross and deny yourself. You know, uh, Paul tells us we're supposed to pray without ceasing. A disciple of Christ is supposed to pray. I mean, just pray about everything. Everything. You know, uh, we're supposed to invite others to church. We're supposed to, yeah, lead them to the cross. Yes, we're supposed to do that. You know, most don't even tithe and maybe pitch in a few pennies for offering. And they can't even hardly keep the church doors open on most of them, especially for churches that preaches the truth. Yeah. But have you considered picking up that cross and following Jesus and denying yourself of all this old worldly pleasure stuff? that you know is not pleasing to him. If you never picked up that cross, I pray today that you will examine yourself. Why haven't you picked up the cross and followed Jesus, leading others to Calvary, praying without ceasing, reading the word of God, hiding the scriptures in your heart, Where do you stand? That's my question today. Well, I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.